Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, it's RG and today we're going back to the world of Pageant Free Miss Universe Philippines 2024 is about to approach yes, it's approaching, the coronation will be this 26th of May so I'm very excited that we are back here in pageantry and we're going to talk the recent activity in Sultan Kedarat which is their national costume competition guys the production is amazing kudos to the lgu and uh, sultan kudarat and miss universe philippines for making this uh, kind of event even that we are not in sultan kudarat but as a viewers through telecast we really appreciate the production i know that they put a lot of effort budget and uh, kudos to the locals of uh, sultan kudarat it's a very amazing uh, production that you offer with us or to us but right now guys um today i'm going to talk my top 10 best national costume for miss universe philippines 2024 yes when i selected or this is a disclaimer i don't have any insight when it comes to the background of their um national costume even the designer but I just watched the telecast of the national costume through live but uh, I didn't pay attention when it comes to those details. I critic them through the visual impact, the photos that they release in the official page of Miss Universe. I always uh, provide my insight. Anyways, this is one of my expertise because I used to be one of the art member of our uh, department way back in college we are the one who create costumes uh, backdrop and um, um, headdress uh, props of the dancers the competitors when it comes to the uh, competition in our college as before so I'm very familiar how it works um, how you judge or put your critic when it comes in one masterpiece and to kudos to all designer i would like to congratulate that this is the best national costume series or batch that i watch in miss universe competition i really appreciate the effort of everyone for making this fantastic masterpiece and it's up to the girl how they able to slay on the stage every uh, costumes have their own stories that they want to portray especially the uh, theme for this batch is uh, fluoride fauna so right now I'm going to provide you my top 10 okay let's dive into it let's start with my rank 10 so I have here my notes and of course one of my phone for me to view time to time the photos of the grails Okay, my top 10 here is Okay, it's Miss Albay. Okay, even though Miss Albay did not execute well because of the of the weight of the volume on stage, but when you saw the when I saw the photo, yes, it's stunning. It's a very clean, neat, creative, well detailed. I really love when someone making a costume using this type of materials um i always appreciate this it's the looks um costume using the indigenous materials it's a very eco-friendly aside from this it's very well detailed i always look a costume that only give me visual impact but aside from that if you look at up close it's a very well detailed and clean so kudos to the designer of miss albay i really appreciate her national costume neat and stunning okay my top uh my number nine or top nine well goes to miss bulacan yes you are surprised why here in the Philippines, we always appreciate national costume, big, heavy, um, uh, visual impact, overall visual impact when it comes when the girls uh, go on stage. Yes, that's right. Uh, but I feel it when Chelsea Manalo come out to the stage, 
Her natural costume is small. It's just only a bodysuit with a cocktail dress and with an amazing headpiece. But you know guys, what uh, caught my attention here is the color of the suit and the headpiece. Guys, it's very fantastic. It's out of the blue. Uh, there's uh, um, a lot of uh, contestants prefer to use the para mapansin natin sila on stage but uh, you don't need to do that if you have very amazing costume like this I really love here the headpiece it's a very edgy it's a unique it's a modern type of headpiece I really love the combination of the bodysuit from the orange from two to head of the transition into light blue or purple blue yes i really love it i love the headpiece the headpiece is the one uh, caught me attention in the orange color of the body suits that's amazing what uh caught me attention here is the color palette itself and of course the headdress that's the advantages why i choose a chelsea manel costumes here it's amazing that's the words for her costume it's amazing and the right now siguro in this segment maupus and tayo ng adjective to appreciate the natural costume of these girls and going here in my top seven let's give it to bako or yes for bbb national costume i hear that it's a uh, inspired with gamu gamu yes indeed she looks like a gamu gamu here i really love here the color combination but uh syempre gabi ginanap yung event uh, hindi siya ganun na appreciate on stage at saka the way bbb execute on stage para may kulang it's lacking something i know the the legs i really like the um perception here of the designer that she want to showcase the advantages of uh, her legs but of course um parang kulang siya ng power ng connection from the audience and the one who's wearing the costume kasi yung gagamu gamu it's uh, a very freer it's a very uh nakakatakot so it's a uh, parade it's tama ba? one of the predator na insect to uh, manipulate yung mga predator nila na hindi sila lapitan because of their visual appearance pero sa pinakita ni BBB parang something lame sa execution niya but throughout here I really love the creativity the visual impact it's very creative and that's the reason why I put BBB in my top 7 because of the, the impact of the national costume itself. Wag lang muna siyang mag-execute but the impact itself. But looking forward, BBB is a very fantastic throughout the journey that she have here in Miss Universe, okay? And moving to my top 6. Okay, for my top 6 here, congratulations to Miss Bukidnon. Yes, I really love her costume, guys. This is what Pag gumawa ka ng malaking national costume, sigaraduhin mo na, mapapansin ka. I love the birds in her national costumes, the bodysuits, it's a very well detailed, the headdress, and of course, you gonna feel na yung flower is my water spy. Alam mo yung texture ng flower niya? Yun yung nagandahan ko. Um, parang it's live na flowers yung ginamit na malaki. So, I don't know the background story of this costume. I don't want to check it because I said to nga prior to this vlog, gusto ko na I judge siya hindi sa creator, hindi sa story ng costume. But I want to judge it through the visual impact, uh, the creativity, and how neat it was made. So congratulations to Miss Bukidnon. She checked all the boxes in her costume. The size, the texture, the impact. And the color palette is very amazing but of course let's proceed to, to my top five so my top five here one two three four five yes it's top five let's congratulate to 
Okay, binibilang mo baka nagkamali ako ng numbering. <laughs> so, right now, my top 5 is goes to Lady. Yes, she looks like a tickling bird. Yes, indeed. I love the feather, how they emphasize the feather. Grabe, mukha talaga siya tickling. Sabi ko, curious lang ako kasi uh, what's the tickling looks like? Kasi yun yung nakalagay din sa description. And for comparison, hindi mo talaga siya inirig like. Kasi grabe naman yung costume niya guys. Yung visual impact ng isang uh, bird, kuhang-kuha niya talaga. And the way she executed on stage, it's a very amazing. I love here the the footwear of the that she made here it looks like a bird and of course the head piece the head piece and of course the feather the texture of the feather it's so very amazing that's the reason why she deserved this spot and moving forward here okay well, let's do a recap sorry top 10 i'll buy Top 9 is Bulacan, Top 7 is Baco Or, Top 6 is Bukid Non, My Top 5 is Lady, and let's proceed to my Top 4. My Top 4 here is Miss Bantayan Island. Hmm. Hi. I know a lot of you will uh, disagree with me, but of course, so we don't. Bantayan deserve this spot. Guys, can you imagine? Because when you see her on stage, Makikita mo talaga siyang she looks like a coral reef. Grabe ang ganda ng visual impact ng color palette, the color combination. And she looks stunning when she uh, showed the back side of her costume. That's amazing. That's a good revelation. With Miss Bantayan, I really love hearing the visual impact of her own. She caught my attention. So that's the advantages. When you're making a costume, you must cut the attention of your audience. And uh, if you are able to see the details here, the part of her dress, it's very detailed, you know. It looks like that they use a very, not only kind of fabric, but they use a very single, single beads to um, finalize this uh, top part of her natural costume. She looks like a fish. An amazing fish. Yes. And let's proceed to my top four. To my top four here. Oh, top four is Bantayan Island. Top three. And of course, we have a winner. Okay. So my top three here is, let's prove, give it to Miss Southern California. Of course, kung very well dated lang yung pagbibasihan natin, of course, I give it to Southern California, the color combination, plus the bubbles, the way she executed on stage, meron pong pa bubbles. Guys, it's very magnificent. The pool gown na naging coral, it's very amazing. And the best part of it, yung nag-highlight pa, is the head piece. My God, she look like the queen of the ocean. Grabe, congratulations to Southern California. Siyempre, siguro mabigat ang costume. Kaya medyo may lacking sa execution, sa stage. But overall, I really love this ball gown. It's a ball gown of coral reef. That's the way how you made a natural costume. It, you don't need to make it big. Para mapansin ka, but you can make it unique in a way that uh, visually good, well done, creativity is there, the knit, the knitness and the cleanliness of the costume is there. That's what I like. But speaking of knitness and cleanliness, I will give it to my top two or my second runner up. The second runner-up for this batch is to Ms. Guess. Nai City. I love here the texture, the cleanliness for the Nai costume. It's a Pawican. It's a very unique. It looks like the costume itself, the outer part of the costume is made of shell of the Pawican itself. So I really like that. 
and uh, hindi ko lang bet yung pesto ng gito pero something na gumawa sana siya ng more amazing mas maganda siguro yung hand niya is naging part siya ng pawikan um a uh, hand, the game we can hand shot, but overall I really love it because it's a kind of unique. This is the first time that I saw a costume that it looks like a living turtle, the, a human turtle, a human pumpkin, and that's what uh, make her spot. But she deserved this spot. I I really appreciate the top three uh, that they selected during that night, but of course I really. Appreciate Miss Night National Costume as well. Mas maganda siguro dito. Mas na highlight pa yung yung head talaga dito. Parang shell din ng turtle yung ginamit siguro. Mas maganda din yun para mas na claim niya yung crown at night. But overall, this kind of masterpiece is a very unique and visually impact very well detailed. That's what I like for Miss Night. And let's proceed to my first runner app. My first runner app in this competition will go to or will go to Miss Tacloban City. Tacloban is a very magnificent. She is the queen of the jungle with this uh, lizard, also called Hello. Yeah, and their um, area. It looks like a living lizard. Na Nakakatakot talaga siya when you see on stage, parang tutuklawin ka. So this is kind of costume that I'm expecting. It's out of the blue. It will give you a bomb when they execute it on stage. That's what I like. It's a very well detailed. She is the queen of the laser again, Takalokobay. I love here that they emphasize the part, the heat press. It looks like a, a thir three na usually laser, this kind of laser is found above the tree or under the bushes so i like it and of course the way she executed it parang binabuka buka niya yung face ng lizard parang tutuklawin talaga tayo when she executed on stage congratulations to the club and for doing that amazing job and of course let's proceed to my top one to my top one here it's let's give it to Miss Ili Ilo. Congratulations to Miss Ili Ilo for Team Ili Ilo for making this kind of costume out of the blue. I'm not expecting because in the first part of the costume it looks like flowers, combination of flowers and animals, but it's out of the blue that there's a spider come up to the stage like this. I like the legs of the spider. It looks like an alive spider is walking on stage of Miss Universe. It's very amazing. It's giving me a cost bomb. The combination here of the color, it's amazing. The bodysuit really fits here. Your hips, the way she moved the spider webs, it's moving as well. Excuse me. And of course, I believe that the execution of Alexia will give a very good uh, execution and presentation with this costume. Maybe a uh, her athletic background also helps here. Kasi medyo mabigat ang headpiece dito at sa yung back part ng costume. So that's uh, her advantages. I love the fierce makeup here. It's really suits. It's a unique Alexi Brooks comes to the stage that night. And congratulations to Tim Team Ilo who is very creative with the I'm excited what you can offer before coronation on the semi-final. Oh my god, Ilo proving that the hunger for the uh, crown for this watch. Congratulations to Miss Ilo for making this a very outstanding national costume in this event because right now she is the winner of this episode. Guys, same battalion in production, same battalion in lineup and critic. Just don't forget to show or to comment down below who is the winner of this watch. If you have your own winner that I missed out that I need to check out, but you are very welcome. But of course, I just uh, want to say to you that disclaimer to everyone, all of the national costume is fantastic. It's uh, kind of my criteria how I 
find it creative. I found I how I find it unique and give me a visual impact and goes bump when the girls executed presented on stage and this 11 girls that I um, provide or that I presented is the one who made a fantastic job during that night but congratulations to everyone you deserve a round of applause and the friends for those who haven't subscribed and first time to this channel, please hit the subscribe button, leave your comment, and please don't forget to smile and spread kindness to everyone in the Vietnamese universe, Philippines, and in our next episode. Again, this is RG. Goodbye.